we're not open source, obviously, as you're alluding to. Um, and, uh, you know, everything that we're, we're doing in the engine around performance and integrating all these modular parts, we feel it's very important that we own and control that. Uh, in order to build a real-time, high-performance analytics system, it's critical to us to have a great understanding of all the code, control the code, et cetera. Obviously, we want to monetize that as well as a business. Having said that, this company was founded on the premise that one size does not fit all. Now, there's a huge movement of NoSQL, and we actually do very well with some of the largest NoSQL uh, companies in, in the world using our SQL engine as well. And so from our perspective, we like to integrate with open source. Uh, we were the first analytic database company to come out with a Hadoop connector because we see a lot of value uh, specifically to HDFS as a file system to store all different types of data. You don't have to define a schema in advance. It can be unstructured. It can be structured. And then what we do with our connector is very easily allow you to move that metadata into Vertica to do the real-time analytics. Hadoop is very batch-oriented. We're very real-time. Uh, but they're very complementary. I mean, Hadoop's great for like storing a lot of unstructured data in low-cost commodity machines. Yep. And using open source, it's free. Maybe you get Cloud Air, you pay for the enterprise edition, so you just kind of park it everywhere. Park that data, but you gotta, you're got saying, you're just like a processor. You got your connector just connects to that data source. Exactly. You guys pull it in, yep. crank your proprietary engine, yep. which is hardened and yep. know, abstracted away, and that's your product. And that's our product, and exactly. With a developer, do you have a developer strategy, or no? Well, so we are, what, what we've been doing is building up our own community. Uh, we have over 350 customers now. Those customers are contributing a lot of best practices. They're, they're contributing, in many cases, their own connectors, uh, their own plugins, if you will. We have a user-defined function framework. Do customers are contributing? Can, customers can contribute to it and are contributing to it. And what we're building up now is a community around that, so people can share that information. Uh, our Hadoop connector is actually open source. We did contribute that back to the community, and so we really want to make sure that that's being shared back and that people can use everything that's been developed by our customers. 